Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Cognitive development is how thinking and problem solving change over a lifetime. A large part of this involves improving the ability to mentally organize information. So let's start at camp's base to see the Pacifics, their specifics. This under the ski ball machine represents schemas and the fact that this camp is exceptionally well funded. Schemas are mental outlines that organize facts and concepts so that you can identify, compare, and contrast aspects of the world around you. For example, a child's schema of ice cream might include is cold, sweet, sticky, and comes in many tasty flavors. As a person is exposed to more and more information, they got to reconcile the new information with their existing schemas. Assimilation and accommodation are two ways of doing this. Assimilation is when new information is added to an existing schema, sort of like how this camper is assimilating a new type of ice cream into her existing cone. Along those lines, a young child who's only had scooped ice cream might eat soft serve for the first time and realize it's also cold, sweet, sticky, and delicious, and therefore must be ice cream. Then they could assimilate the fact that ice cream can be hard or soft into their schema of ice cream. Assimilation can also lead young children to place information into the wrong schema. So the same child might include Italian ice in their schema of ice cream because it fits the bill of cold, sweet, and sticky. Now, new information doesn't always fit neatly into an existing schema. Sometimes new schemas need to be created or old schemas need to be adjusted to accommodate new facts. Fittingly, this process is called accommodation. And you can remember it by this perplexed camper who's creating a new schema for popsicles after realizing that cold, sweet, sticky treat just isn't the same as ice cream. His popsicle schema might include things like on a stick, fruity, and icy. And he might have adjusted his ice cream schema from all cold, sweet, sticky foods are ice cream to only creamy cold, sweet, sticky foods are ice cream. <laughs>